Huh. Well, what do we have here? It looks like we have a new calf. Yeah. But the pepper just calved here this morning. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, good morning everybody. This is Organic Dairyman. Welcome to my channel today. And uh, today is Wednesday, March 13th. And yeah, this is how we're starting out starting the day out today with a new calf. Um, looks like it is a heifer. A heifer calf. Yep. It's a heifer, so we got a girl calf. Yeah. See where he's standing. And we got a new mom. We gotta get her in this morning, and get her milk, and then get the calf fed the cluster milk. Yeah. That's good. So yeah, I gotta go plug in a tractor here yet, and um, I'm just gonna plug in one tractor, and it's just real foggy, not real foggy, but just kind of foggy out here this morning, and uh, yeah, I don't know, we're supposed to get some, the weather's supposed to change here today, and um, I don't know what it's gonna exactly do, I don't even think... The weather people know exactly what it's going to do, but the wind is going to really howl, I say howl, out of the northwest today, so it's a 50 mile an hour wind gust or something, so it's going to be just a little bit on the windy side later today. Yeah, I'm going to have to hang on to, God's going to have to hang on to his cap later today probably. We got some melting going that went on so yeah so I get the tractor plugged in and uh, maybe a couple tractors plugged in here and then uh, yeah I don't know what else is gonna happen today I'm gonna see what happens here today and uh, I guess I'll get back with you later and hopefully everything goes good and getting that heifer melt and stuff so yeah um yep i guess let's see what happens today okay as you saw earlier yeah the dry cows were just standing out in the rain yeah the rain's coming down pretty good Right now, it should be switching over to either sleet or freezing rain or snow here fairly soon. The temperature is at 30. Well, I last checked it. I don't know what it is out here in the shed here. Um, yeah, it's about 32 in here. So it should be switching over here unless, like you say, it's warmer up in the sky. And... Uh, you know, as soon as it comes down and hits the ground here, it will freeze. So it should start doing something here, freezing it's pretty soon. That's, I don't know. If it switches over to freezing rain, it probably ain't going to be for very long. So, yeah, and obviously you can see one of the things, the drawbacks of the shed here. Um, like I was talking about one video a while back, how the shed is like kind of a fishbowl in here. They didn't build it up and there is water running in here. It's running in down here to this door. Yeah, there's water. It just, it just, this door needs to be fixed over here. It came off the track one time. I just never got time to get it back on. And uh, some of the water's running down in, into the ship. Whoa! That kind of scared me there for a second. A bunch of snow just slid off the, the side of the shed. They're meaning a not like a thunder almost but it wasn't look at that there's water <laughs> that's what I taught I say about the shed why my dad didn't build that thing up in here Ooh, a bunch of snow just came off the roof <laughs> so anyways I gotta get going here the feeding chores and I hope that the uh, weather um, doesn't stay doesn't knock the power out or something I don't know, I guess if it does, we'll have to get the generator out, but 
Um, yeah, there's water back here too. <sighs> I guess it gets muddy in the shed. I hate that. <laughs> Anyways, I better get uh, I better get uh, tractors warming up here and uh, keep it going here and see what the weather does. Hopefully. They don't get too bad, but they are calling for a winter storm watch, so it's going to switch over to snow again. Yeah, whippy. <laughs> More snow. If I would known it was going to rain like this, I would have set it out this morning. I guess I did it. Hoofed. Yeah. Oh boy. That's the thing with all this rain. It's really, that's uh, really melting the snow pretty fast. There's some bare ground showing up there in the cow pasture already. Yeah, I think there's going to be some flooding. I don't know how bad it's going to be, but there's going to be flooding. Oh my gosh. Yeah, rain, rain, rain. Yeah, I don't know. Let me show you guys over here. I don't know if you can see that or not. But, uh, yeah. There is some bare spots showing up out on the cow pasture. <laughs> the 
There's no green grass growing, I can tell you that. Not yet anyway. A little bit before the green grass starts to grow. Yeah, so anyways, uh, yeah, I'm getting the, thing, getting the feed wagon loaded up with haylage for the milk cows and uh, we're gonna go feed in the barn and get done with the things for the day. My coat, <laughs> my coat is all soaked with water. Oh, I should have put on a rain jacket today. I guess I don't have a rain jacket. Poncho, made a homemade one. But, yeah, this this kept up, boy. It's gonna be a muddy mess. Muddy, muddy, muddy. So I better keep going here and uh, oh, I think the wind is starting to switch here too. So things are probably, it's probably gonna change over to sleet, freezing rain, sleet, or snow here pretty soon. Yep, well, I'm gonna keep it going here. Boy, I tell you, the water, it's, uh, it's even running in here. There's uh, it's just running in here and getting this feed wet. <laughs> I've tried damming it up, but it just, and I've shoveled some water. I've scooped some out of here with the shovel, and this keeps running back in here. Normally, the water wouldn't run in here. We have it dug out so that it's supposed to slope that way, but it's just that there's ice built up there, and so now it's downhill. So, I guess. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I just have to deal with it, I guess. Just have to keep it out of here. Really, it's always, it's always something, isn't it? <laughs> okay, we're finally done with the feeding for the day. And uh, <laughs> look at this. Yeah, the fish bowl is filling up in here even more. Look at all the water in here. It's starting to run in through that door over there. And oh, good gosh. Yep, it's going back there too. Oh, I just wish my dad, when he built this, he would have just built, the, built it up in here. <laughs> yeah well anyways what i wanted to uh finish this video up about is um having a little trouble with the feed wagon here well partially is because it is wet out and um this uh let me show you guys i don't know how well you can see this or not but uh, Yeah, this belt here the other day that was slipping, this belt is about had, um, it, it's about, about done for. So, um, yeah, I don't know. It just needs to get, um, replaced. So, I don't know, we're going to get one ordered. We're gonna get one coming in the morning. And the other deal is, uh, I don't know, this pulley here somehow is is loose. I don't know why. It's hard to see back there what it is. But this belt needs to be replaced. And I thought they had a diagram of how it went. How are they doing the book I know? I don't think they got a diagram. They got a diagram here somewhere that shows you so if we take the belt off. Yeah, it would be wise. Um, it would be wise to do a diagram. But, uh, yeah. So, I know this feeder wagon, we've done a lot of stuff to it. We bought it used in two, December of 2011, I think. And when we bought it, it was three years old. So it was like 2008 model. 
And the people that used it before, they usually bought a new feeder wagon like every two or three years they'd buy a new one. So um, actually it was the people that used to own it that weren't too far from here, probably about 10, 15 miles south of here, south, southeast of here, that, uh, that where they, they, they used to be theirs. And uh, yeah, there were, there were some dairy farmers, two bachelor brothers that, that they, they had money so they'd buy a new, new one every two or three years. So it's, we've uh, basically, what have we done to this thing? Uh, well, we replaced this liner, and there's a plastic uh, a poly liner, and have replaced that two times. This piece here has been replaced once. Um, that bearing there has been replaced once. Um, we've uh, we lined the floor in here once. We had the side, those sides, both sides, just to, those corners redone over there. We put a new riser chain in here once. This chain that's in here is still the original one. But yeah, and oh yeah, and we lined where the riser chain goes up and down, we've lined that. And of course we put the scale on here. And what else have we done? What else have we done to this thing? And of course I replaced that bearing the other day, as you saw. So, yeah. So we've done a little bit of work to this thing. Um, they're not made to last forever. Oh yeah, we put these extensions on here and of course they've got kind of chewed up. But we just, oh, uh, we should just go to the lumber yard and get some new boards to put on there someday. So, yeah, we've done a little bit to it. Um, but, uh, Fixing it up is still cheaper than buying a new one. I know a new one of these Schuler bunk feeder wagons is, I think, about 14 grand for one of them. I think so. I think we paid. I don't know what did we pay for this thing? We bought it. I think we paid about eight, eight, seven thousand for it back then when we bought it. So, so it's about it was about half the value of a new one. So. Yeah, corn silage is hard on it and everything like that, but yeah. So anyway, that's kind of the deal with it. So we're going to order a new, uh, get a new belt coming tomorrow. I think we're just going to have this UPS it right up here so we get it, hopefully by the end of the week, so we get that belt replaced. And I don't know, I think that pulley is going to have to be replaced, I don't know. i got to look at it here a little closer when I get down here with you guys. But um, yeah, it's still raining out. At least it didn't turn into freezing rain. So I was kind of worried about that. It's like, I, I don't want to get the generator out. So it's nice. It's going to, the way the weather looks, it could switch over to snow in the morning. But it's just borderline right now. It's like 34, 33 degrees out. So, yeah, the loader tractor got another bath today. <laughs> yeah, so, anyways, we'll see what happens here tomorrow, what goes down tomorrow. Um, and uh yeah i don't know yeah i got my new to me phone thank you to my brother robert who uh, gave me his old phone <laughs> it's an iphone 7 plus so yeah what is the temperature right now 34 degrees it says it says 34 degrees so, yep, it looks like uh, the warmest day next week is Friday, 44 degrees, so, sun sets at 7.28, huh, the sun's just setting and it's 7.28, <laughs> that's something, that's what the date it says right on here, 7.28, sunset, 7.28, <laughs> just set, you know, if you can't see it because, uh, yippers, yep. So anyways, I gotta go grab, look at that, grab a bite to eat, and then get back to, let me just take a quick little cat nap, and then uh, get back out and milk the cows again, and see what the weather's doing in the morning. Yeah, so, yeah. Anyway, that's what everything I could think of to talk about. So, 
Um, yep, so I gotta go here. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, drop it down in the comment section below. And I will do my best to answer your questions. As I, you know, if you're new to the channel, sometimes I'm a little slow about getting back to responding to people's questions. I do try to respond back to everybody's questions. And if I forgot your question, ask it again. I'll try to answer it. I just get so darn busy some days. It's hard to get to everybody's questions sometime right away. So, um, so that's the deal. So don't be offended if I didn't get to your question. Doesn't mean I didn't want to say uh, reply back to you. It's just that I get so darn busy with the stuff around here during the day sometimes, and then trying to do these videos sometimes. I just, I just. Ugh. <laughs> it gets to be a lot sometimes. But, uh, I gotta go and get the next video rolling out. Here soon, I gotta finish that up. Um, but yeah. So, anyways, check me out on Instagram and Twitter at Organic Dairyman. And please, if you have not, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, tap the notification bell at the top. And thank you so much to everybody that has taken the time to subscribe to my channel. I appreciate each and every one of you. And, um, yeah, let's keep the subscriptions coming, and uh, yeah, we'll see see where things go here with that, and uh, I just hope that we don't get any we don't get any flooding around here. <laughs> but uh, so anyways, I gotta go. So take care, and I will catch you later.